Good evening, Lizzie boys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I finally got some of the Monster Fest dolls. I've complained about this several times. The stores in my area just have not been stocking these dolls. I had to order these two online. And they weren't available online until like yesterday. Two days ago. Three days ago. I ordered these like on Friday and they ended up coming in today. So it was pretty quick, thankfully. Um, the two that I bought myself were Claudine and Frankie. And I actually got pretty lucky. I'd say my Frankie has a pretty good non-wonky face. Also, that is just a hair on their cheek. It's not like a stray line or anything. So yeah, I got a pretty good non-wonky Frankie as well as Claudine. I'd say I got a pretty good one here as well. I don't see any notable wonk anyway. Um, I wanted to get Laguna, but she wasn't in stock online. And to be honest, I think Cleo's my least favorite of the line. So I'm okay with skipping her until she goes on sale. Similar to the way I did with uh, that Cleo monster ball. I really want Core Refresh Frankie, but um, I don't get free shipping unless I pay over $30, $35, and uh, the doll's only $25. So I'm going to wait until Laguna goes into stock online and then order those two together. But yeah, for now, in this video, we're going to be reviewing Frankie. Because this one is arguably my favorite doll from the line, therefore I want to unbox them first. Why is my sewing kit here? So, without further ado, let's begin. So here is Frankie's Monster Fest packaging. It's very bright and colorful. I really like the Rainbow Monster High logo and the Rainbow Monster Fest logo. There's a lot of little pictures at the bottom of the box, all relating to music and such. Frankie comes with a poster of all four dolls in the main line together. Draculaura is excluded because she's a playset doll, obviously. Frankie has a purse and a bunch of other accessories, which we will get to later. But for now, we will turn the box around and look at the artwork back here. So it's pretty small, to be honest. I really would have liked these artworks to be bigger because I like to look at all the details of them, but overall, they're really cute. The description for the line reads, Frankie, Claudine, Cleo, and Laguna have scored tickets to Monster Fest, the most electrifying music festival of the year. They each shine in uniquely colored, fabulous gorgeously glam lurks. Decked out with freaky chic handbags and posters of their fave bands, the ghouls can't wait to snack on slime... slime nachos. Okay, that sounds gross. Snap scary cool photos and dance the fright away. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Slime nachos sound gross, though. Um, I don't think you guys should eat those. So, yeah, now without further ado, let us unbox the doll. I didn't start unboxing the doll yet. We're gonna do that now. Let's do it. I did not take a 30 minute break. So here's the Frank and there goes the hair on their face. Yeah, I'd say I got a pretty good screening overall. I think it's really even. Um, some like little hairs stuck on their eye. Okay, they're gone now. So we're just gonna like cut the ties around their boots and such for now. Um, these are actually much larger than the usual ties they use and they're made out of plastic instead of like the little like plastic ties they usually use. Like they're different, you know? Uh, Frankie has a disco ball leg this time with no writing on it, and mm, those are some pretty big flaws in the plastic, not gonna lie. They use the same kind of thicker plastic tie around their waist as well, and there's only one of these circular ties this time, like one of these circular um, arm holder things. The other one is just a rubber band. So here is Frankie's Monster Fest poster. Overall, I think it's pretty cute, but something about Laguna looks kind of off to me. I can't really explain what. But yeah, everybody looks nice. This is a super cute poster. I'm very excited to open Claudine and get that Hisfits poster. So Frankie themselves came out of the box pretty easily. Now we just have to free the rest of their stuff, which, um... Why are the sunglasses encased in plastic? I fully did not realize Frankie had bracelets that they weren't already wearing in the box. Okay. So I'm gonna have to put these on them myself, I guess. I think these are bracelets, I'm not actually sure. That was actually pretty easy to open. Fortunately, these things open pretty easily and then you just pull out the insert and just pop the accessories right out. The sunglasses are fairly easy, just force them out by the legs and uh, there we go. These are a really cute sculpt. I'm really glad they didn't just reuse the same lightning bolt ones they've been reusing from G1. All right, so here's Frankie, fresh out of the box, and my only gripe so far is that I can't figure out how to make this belt lay down right. I think maybe the uh, strap on the thigh is too high up. I'm gonna fiddle with it real quick, and if I can't get it right, I will just come back and complain some more. Okay, it kind of worked. These like um, chains here stick out pretty far, but overall it's not that big of a deal. 
Anyway, this doll is very pretty. I really like them. My only issues is that um, while their ha hair is saran, it is a little um, fried fresh out of the box. I don't know why it looks like this. I might need to try giving the doll a boil wash or something because it just looks kind of messy. Just looks a bit messy fresh out of the box, but I mean Monster High has never had the best box hair, especially in G3, so it's not like a new thing or anything. I really like their face. Again, this is somewhat a new screening. They are facing to the right, and I believe Coffee Break was facing to the left, so let me get let me just check. Okay, so it was this Frankie that faces to the left. Coffee Break faces to the right, but it's still a new screening because the eyes look completely different. Did I say left? I meant right. But yeah, you see what I mean, right? Completely different screening. Not to mention Frankie has two eyebrow piercings, meaning it's technically an altered screening regardless. Frankie also has some super cute bangs and only has blue streaks in the front because around the back, their hair is mostly black with a couple white streaks. Pretty interesting. They have a lot of tassels hanging off the pants and to be honest, these are kind of low quality, like the material they're made out of feels like paper and it overall kind of sucks. But the pants, I'd say are pretty well made. I like them, I really like the print of them. And I really like their necklace. It's very cute and I like that it says Frankie on it. And the charms are cute overall. Although some additional like paint detailing, just to differentiate the chains from one another might have gone a long way here because let's be honest, the chains kind of blend together. So Frankie's, uh, a silver bralette piece and the black mesh undershirt are two separate pieces. I've seen people show that off in their reviews, but I usually don't like to take factory rubber bands off, so I'm not going to. I'm just telling you right now, they are definitely separate pieces. I've seen it with my own eyes. As I mentioned, Frankie has a disco ball leg, and that continues into the shoes, being very disco ball themed. They've also got these um, separate yellow pieces that make up the heel on the back. Pretty cute, looks like, um, why does it remind me of Lightning McQueen? Something else cool about Frankie is that both of their earrings are kind of like cuffs that um, actually hug the ear at the top to stay into place. A bunch of little cut hairs. What is up with your rooting? But yeah, it is like that on both sides. It's pretty cute. This side has the like outlet of the spark plugs, whereas the pink earring is the actual plug that goes into the plug hole. I have such a way with words, don't I? Frankie has really nice yellow eyeshadow with a sort of neutral brown undertone at the bottom. It's kind of brownish at least. And then there's the silver at the top and then there is of course the pink on this side and the blue on this side for the lightning bolts. They also have a grayish lip color, which I'll admit I would have preferred the black, but I do still like the gray. I think it works pretty well. Um, another really cool detail about this doll is, of course, the removable gloves. I'm really glad that G3 is doing this. I think it's really cool. Uh, His Fits Torali is also going to have these removable gloves, and I am very excited for His Fits Torali. So seeing what the quality is like firsthand, I'm really glad that the gloves being there doesn't limit the wrist articulation whatsoever. Like, it really doesn't mess with the posability that badly, which is for sure a good thing. Has Frankie always had two symmetrical stitches on both arms? I feel like I'm tripping now. I don't remember this. Okay, yeah, that's something G3 Frankie has just always had. That's so weird. Why didn't I remember that? Anyway, let's take a look at some of their accessories, starting with the sunglasses. As I mentioned, these are a completely new and original sculpt, and I really like them a lot. Frankie looks super cute wearing them, and I can actually see this being compatible with most of their other dolls because it's just really cute. So yeah, 10 out of 10 for the sunglasses. They also come with a Polaroid camera. This time it's yellow. And I do think this is a reused piece. I'm pretty sure they've come with this camera before, but regardless, super cute to have. We've also got the Admit One Monster Fest tickets. Not much you can do with that. They also have this lightning bolt shaped energy drink cup, which is honestly adorable. I don't know. Something about this is just super cute to me. And like Laguna's um, Squid Ink Burger, Frankie has a black hot dog. I don't know if this also is made of Squid Ink or what. It kind of looks like it might be. I don't know. Something about this looks like a fucking electric eel. And of course, there are the two additional bracelets Frankie comes with. I'm not sure which wrist I want to put each one on, and I can't really find 
like in the artwork which one it's supposed to be because they aren't wearing it in the artwork so oh do you want to stand on your own no you want to fall over don't do that last accessory we haven't looked at yet is frankie's giant purse this thing is pretty cute i like the new sculpting of it and again i like the little plugs hanging off of it little two-pronged plugs Got a giant sculpted zipper here, got a broken mirror on this side. Well, it's not its not a broken mirror, it's like scrap metal, but it looks like a broken mirror and it kind of feels like a caddy reference. Uh, we've got a heart with a lightning bolt over it, we've got a Frankie, got a thing here. It's just a lot of stuff. It's cute. I like this doll. I like them. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this Frankie. Overall, I would probably give this doll I'm sorry, I really gotta think about this. I want to say 10 out of 10, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with what my heart is telling me. 10 out of 10. I love this doll. This is my favorite Monster Fest doll. But yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. I really like this doll, and if you can get your hands on them and you want them, I recommend. I recommend the Frank. Do you want the Frank? I say you should get the Frank. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll stick around for my Claudine review tomorrow. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!